Ну вот, да? ждем, когда пройдет. Вот такая установочка. И вот народ уже собрался, ждет. Он там дальше можно пройти попить бесплатный чай. Ну, мы с собой взяли термосок, бутерброды, потому что мы на целый день сюда. Тут много сегодня будет развлечений. Алиса? Ladies and gentlemen, the J. Bear Color Guard presenting the colors for our grand parade today. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through Perilous by o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the My thanks to Cody Beltrami, last year's queen. Come on, folks. Who's ready for a parade? Okay, everybody. And did you know Pluto Bay produces more than half of all Alaska's recently, Alaska Gorilla recently celebrated its 40th anniversary, along with three straight years of no production decline. And that's great news for all of Alaska. I think you know who these next guys are. Yeah, this is medic number five. In 2017, he danced like support ambulance in response to fire 
And engine three, KME, House of Fire Station 3 on Vergaw Street near the Glen High. Number three, home to the Urban Search and Rescue Team, which responds to structural collapse. And trans rescue and confined space emergency. Engine three is staffed with three to four personnel and responded to 2,800 emergencies in 2000. And coming up next is Miss Linda. In 2014, the Anchorage Fire Department unveiled Miss Linda. In 1993, E1 Humber has been transformed from a traditional red fire engine. Miss Linda goes and goes and goes. This is truck one of 2017 Pierce Packard drawn aerial, also known as Tiller. Truck one responds from downtown fire station number one. And as you can see, it's got a huge ladder. It's got 100 foot aerial ladder and 233 feet of ground ladder in one and draws the inspiration from traveling with her daughter and the beautiful scenery and wildlife all around her home in the mountains where she lived with her husband and three cats. It's full of Maria's art at Equilux.com. Our booster pit designers in that Kendall truck. At Anchorage Lutheran School. Always loved art. Huge fan of sled dog events. And here we go with our one Rodney Queen and Princesses. Our Queen of Jitter Crest is a lifelong Alaskan who's passionate about Sir Rodney. She's the 2015 Rodney Princess and carries the Rodney tradition from her family. As her mother was the 1983 Fur Queen. She's played violin for 19 years and been an elementary education major at UAA. Princess Olivia Larson, born and raised in Anchorage, with a deep love for the tradition of the Fur Rodney and her great memories involving her late dad's Rodney pin collection. Honored to be the advocate for this festival in this great state, Princess Genevieve Guthrie. Proud dog mom of Terry Lewis. You got Oliver and Olivia. Loving to craft. Been singing since the fifth grade. Pioneers of Alaska. Excuse me, that was the Rondi Legacy. Rondi Kids and Rondi Bear. Here come our king and queen regions from Palmer. <laughs> Vivian Paul Dauphiné riding a 1927 Huffmobile. That's the four-door sedan, and it's doing great in this snowfall. All right, courtesy of Anchorage Trolley, next up. That's, That's the, the trolley. trolley, yeah. There's the trolley with the trolley belt and everything. Riding in the trolley is... Uh, Look at Past king and queen are inside. All right, we're number 50. It's the Miners and Trappers Ball. Saturday, March 3rd at the Eagle Center, the Miners and Trappers Ball takes place. And the Anchorage Area Lions Club are proud to celebrate their 68th anniversary party bar. Let's light up the night! Bring your world-class beard and compete in the Mr. Furface Contest, the Alaska State Championship Beard and Mustache Contest. The man's wearing a wolf. Break out your favorite alter ego and enter the costume contest and you can dance the night away. All right, welcome Miss Alaska Elementary Junior High School and High School Felicia Padgett. 
Earl Wheelis, the Miss Alaska Elementary, Miss Alaska Hostess, Tacoma Evelyn May, Miss Alaska High School, Olivia Scout, Miss Alaska Hostess High School, Ashley Smith, and Miss Alaska Collegiate, Rebecca Hutchinson. Oh, we've got some antique auto mushers here. All right. If you're a car person, this one's for you. New back, 1931 Ford Model A pickup. Oh, we got a T-Bird here, 1957 T-Bird with the dog and the trumpet. The whole deal. Yeah, that's styling. Nice, 1934 Model A fire truck next. And right behind him, it's a 1931 Ford Model A taxi. Taxi! Take a good ride. And we've got some more here, 1937 GMC pickup truck. These things look like they're brand new, Dave. They're in perfect condition. 1941 Yellow Cadillac two-door coupe. That's a sweet looking ride. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not to be outdone, we've got a 1949. This is some stylish curves on this car. A couple years later, that looks pretty good though. Don't drive the way he did in San Francisco. Yeah, here's the Cadillac. Two door coupe. Stepping back in time here, but these things are as shiny as they have been from the day they rolled off the assembly line. And another Ford convertible. The USA and Miss Alaska Teen USA. Brooke Johnson and Heather Bell Wooten, congratulations, welcome. And they're riding in a 1955 Cadillac convertible. Good looking cars. Great. Looks like Coke's coming down the road here. Coca-Cola. Праздник к нам приходит. Coca-Cola. Right now they like you and don't you over to share a nice cold beverage with us. And I'm, I'm very impressed with how polite our actions are. I grew up in New York. If I were in New York, they'd be on the truck right now. They'd be rocking it back and forth. They'd have two Minnesota. They'd be gone already. They'd already be in Palmer. Don't take none of that left. Alaskans, hats off. You're polite. You wait. Everyone gets a drink. Wonderful. If you're thirsty, Play is done. If you're thirsty, you're at the right spot. Next up is Subway. Oh, yeah, it's Carlos. Yeah, I you're in heaven. Carlos will take one of everything. And after their new Subway of the Future store, at 8936 Lowboda Parkway, near Abbott, the only touch screen drive through restaurant in the state. And what you see on the sides of the truck, that's about life size of what Carlos usually has for lunch.
This is our uh, Interstate Hotel. Hilton Guardian, Homewood Suites, and Hampton Inn. They're managed by Interstate Hotel. Louis the Homewood Duck, who's in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, is excited to be in Alaska as well. Always important both South Central colorectal cancer prevention. Yeah, preventing disease. Well, it's better than trying to kill it. We're throwing fruits and vegetables. They're urging you to eat well. Avoid tobacco and get plenty of exercise. Get screened. Don't mess around, folks. Got to deal with that stuff. Who needs bread? We got bread. Yeah, this uh, bread truck is the Franz Family Bakery. They proudly produce Alaska baked products daily on Spinard Road. And they also serve local green outlet stores. We're at number 26. Welcome. This is the Miss Alaska Scholarship Foundation. Angela Clappery, 15th placement, and this congeniality winner. Following right behind, our Miss Alaska Outstanding Teen, Emma Broyles, won a bevy of vocal awards. You also have local title holders, Annalisa Kress, Michaela Greenland, Jordan jo Naylor, Allison Jimenez, Jazzy Trotter, and our non-competitive Gold Nugget Princesses. Oh, they're not going to get cold wearing those nice furs. Perfect weather for the Grand Parade today. We picked up about four inches in Anchorage. Luckily, no wind, so sitting on top of these cars and doing the parade way is actually quite inviting. Our 83rd Miss Chu did a 5K in 18 minutes and chance. If you didn't feel like running and you wanted to just take a ride, you could have gone down fifth in one of these. Yeah, Porsche. This is from the Porsche Club of America, the Alaska region. And the Porsche Club motto is, it's not just the cars, it's the people. And they're nationally has over 100,000 members in over 40 local regions. The Alaska region was established in 1971, and it offers their members a variety of ways to enjoy it all year. A lot of Porsches cruising by. I've seen some of these on the road, today. Coming up next, we have the Cordova Ice Worm Festival. We're visiting from Cordova. We have Baby Ice Worm of the Cordova Ice Worm Festival. Looks kind of nice. And this year's Miss Ice Worm, Samantha Vargas. The Cordova Ice Worm Festival was created in 1961 as a way to cure those winter blues. And it seems like they're doing a good job of it today. What was once a three-day party has evolved into a nine-week-long festival. At the end of January, the first week of February. Icewormfestival.com. Here we go. Number 30, welcome. The Alaska Civil Air Patrol. Folks, this is a voluntary organization. They specialize in aviation missions including search and rescue, cadet programs, and aerospace education. Our cadet members range in ages from 12 to 18, and senior members are both pilot and non-pilot. They are where you would expect them to be. Merrill Field, just west of the control tower. Thank you, Alaska Civil Air Patrol, for being part of this great parade today. And they do a lot of great work here. Up 
that? Oh, Nick and Angry. Hey, there's Seymour. Seymour's here. Angry is ambassador of all things Big Wild Life. Representing Nick and Angry. You can see Seymour all around town, inviting people all over the globe to enjoy what has to offer. Seymour's a nice guy. It's not Cujo, it's Seymour. You can go up to Seymour. Driving in here on her horse is Miss Rodeo Alaska. This is just... Next up, here comes Mrs. Alaska America. Kirsten Gomez. Cool district. But do you have cookies? Where are the cookies? Of course, this is the Girl Scouts of Alaska, famous for many things, including those thin mints. I mean, you could you could sell them all right now. Look at this. I mean, just walk right through. People will give you a twenty, even if there's no change, they'll do it. Just bring them through. We'll take them. Thin mints, tagalongs, anything. Samoas. Thanks, girls. Continue the party for a special event. Our next American Heritage Girls Troop, Alaska, 1920. And the Heritage Girls is a leadership and character development organization serving girls from 5 to 18 years old. The mission is building women of integrity through service to God, family, community, and country. American Heritage Troops are operating in Anchorage, Eagle River, and the Matthew. All right, here comes Trail, Trail Life Troop 226. This is a high adventure leadership and character development organization. Great group. Boys, you're out there watching from 5 to 18. You want to get involved with this group. You like to guide generations of courageous young men to honor God, lead with integrity, serve others, and experience outdoor adventure. Their troops operate in Anchorage, Eagle River, and the Matsu Valley. Welcome. And now we have Lumen Christie High School. Provides a rigorous Catholic education in a place like Grade 7 through 12, curricular activities and leadership opportunities all in one place. WilmanChristieAK.com, or you can attend their spring open house coming up in April. Up next, Anchorage Lutheran School. Anchor Lutheran School. So great kindergarten through eight. Welcome to you today. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Anchor Lutheran School creates talented community leaders in preschool through junior high. This year's run of the Lutheran Button Designer, Brooke Arnhold, has been a student at Anchor Lutheran since preschool. All of Anchor's 200 plus students applaud her for her win. Hey, there they are, the Keystone Cops. The Popo is here. This is University Kiwanis Club. We saw those yesterday in the studio, Dave. Mm -hmm. What you'll do is you'll get out of the uh, cage is just get one of these cans. The proceeds go to benefit the whole Fur Rodney organization. We arrested our co-actors yesterday, Joe Vigil and Emily Carlson. But frankly, they had it coming. Yeah, they did. They got out really quick. Up next, the Rage City Roller Girls. Don't mess with these ladies. 
dedicated to the there we do. This is the Alaska Public Lands Information Center. That's a workshop shopping to learn about forests, refuges, and parks in Alaska. Make sure to join them after the parade for their Fins and Furs event that has activities for the whole family. And I have a feeling Smokey's going to be part of that as well. Everyone loves Smokey. Hi. Hey. Only you can present a forest party. That's true. Now this is a good way to go through Alaska. It's a good way to go through anywhere. With the hogs coming our way, you can hear the rumble with these hogs. Chapter number 66. It's not hashtag 66. This is old school, folks. This is chapter number 66 of the Hogwarts Owners League. They started back in 1984. We were chapter this. On Wednesday nights, to ride and have fun. And boy, it looks like they're having a ride now. They do the live ride for NBA and other fundraising events this year. And they ask you, please, please do not text and drive. <laughs> oh, this is good stuff. The Hog Chapter 66. <laughs> Here comes the Rebecca Schuler German School of Arts and Sciences, kindergarten through eighth grade. It's an immersion charter school offered by the Anchorage School District. Welcome. Wilka Shula School. <laughs> Germany having a pretty good run in the Olympic hockey. Hey, look at the back of that hog. I think he needs to eat. A little thin there. Real cut. Real cut. Let's get three four wheels. Oh, yeah. Might as well make it count. Look at this. Off road club from Alaska. Hey, but this is the premier off road club in Alaska. It's the longest standing and longest organized club in the state. And when you look at these trucks, <laughs> there's you can kind of understand why. They're family oriented, oriented, and promote responsible motorized recreation. <laughs> Think there's enough clearance on these trucks? You know what? This might be the cleanest you ever see these trucks. You're very cute. You're very cute. <laughs> It'll take you about 16 years to clean it up for next year's for Ronnie. That's the way a four-wheeler should be. An off-road truck has to be dirty. And you can tell, it's just going on and on. We're tailgating now. Come on, let's be safe. I think he knows what he's doing. 
He gets upside down and sideways, goes over rivers, over boulders, down through the trees. This is team driving for them. Not you, you got short sleeves there. Up next, Alaska Territorial Cavalry. The Alaska Territorial Cavalry Motorized. It's a nonprofit organization formed in 1991 to collect, preserve, and display vintage military vehicles. Wow. We're proud to honor our veterans by sharing with you some of their equipment. You know, these are really historic vehicles. Just looking at them, you can tell the stories they can tell. It's been through it all. Up next, Alaska Mountain Rescue Group. You know they do a lot of work around here. It's a nonprofit, all volunteer group that provides ground search, wilderness first aid, incident management, avalanche response, and technical low and high angle rescue response. Thank you very much. Baby's Oriental Shrine of North America supports Shriners Hospital for Children. The fundraising activities, Shriners Hospital conducts research and care for kids with burns and orthopedic disorders, spinal cord injuries, cleft palates. Thank you and welcome. Nine-year-old clown in this. Wow. Go, ladies. We hold the court. That's this one. Yes, sir. Now up next we have the 477 Fighter Group. They're the Air Force Reserve Command's first F-22 fighter squadron and provide a combat ready force of the Army field and air reserve technicians responsible for recruiting, training, and developing citizen airmen. 477 Fighter Group leverages the tradition reserve component of strength and experience, continuing to fly and fight with unrivaled wingmen on the total force team at J Bear. Thank you, welcome. All Pro Dads just passed by. All Pro Dads unique national program that focuses on building better and stronger relationships between dads and their kids. Peer pressure, positive thinking, making a difference, you're doing it all. Thank you, dads. They have four chapters and they'd like to start more. Right now we have Antique Power Club of Alaska. The Antique Power Club is a group of men and women dedicated to the preservation of antique equipment like you see here from the long ago. The agency hopes their will help state generations appreciate 
suffering of dogs and cats statewide through medical care, vaccination, microchipping, and forever home adoptions. Think rescue, and then adopt. Prevention, not destruction. Spay or neuter your pets. I've heard Bob Barker say that once. Oh, we've got a bunch of Burmese mountain dogs here. Very distinctive dog. This is the Bernese Mountain Dog Club of Alaska. A lot of them here. Pretty large dog. Bernese Mountain Dogs are working dogs in the farm areas of Switzerland. And historically, burners were general purpose farm dogs. And their large, hardy frames and calm nature, people oriented temperament, made them ideal companions and wash dogs for the farmer. Also used to pull carts and to accompany cows to pasture. Oh, look at those personalities walking by. And the people are nice too. Here comes the Federation of Community Councils. You know, you can join your community council and have a say in your neighborhood. Yes, you can. Go to those meetings, folks. Find the time. Anchorage's community councils are the grassroots of better government. All righty, up next, Anchorage Airport Police and Fire Department. Of course, the Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport Police and Fire Department is over 60 professional men and women dedicated to the safety and security of Alaska's traveling public, and they have a lot of equipment, as you can see here. That is a neat looking truck. Oh, that is me. Any little boy who's watching that go by right now, is George Jackson, man, great. station drives one. Big guy too. He finds his way in it. And he, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, a lot roomier than you would think inside of those things. And you can put the top down even in the winter. Why wouldn't you? It's Alaska. Anything goes.
these minis get around pretty good in the snow, you can see. Superman, moving and storage. They're your locally owned nationwide moving and storage company here. You can use that to move, that would be good. Services. Riding in the beaker is Army Colonel Adam Lane, Vice Commander, Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson. And the That consists of four groups operating and maintaining the Joint Base for air sovereignty, combat training, force staging. Driving past us right now is the explosive ordnance disposal. And this is the primary response vehicle outfitted to handle anything from standard unexploded ordnance aircraft response to improvised explosive devices. 